Ryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with Felice Herrig, who is, uh, according to this flyer, an MMA fighter, a professional. I'm an MMA, MMA fighter, an MMA starlet. <laughs> Let's talk about this. You've got a fight coming up soon, right? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I recently signed with the XFC, um, so I'll be fighting for them um, April 27th, I believe is the lockdown date. Um, they're still working out the venues and everything, but I'm definitely on that card. I believe it's uh, XFC 17 or 18. So I fought on their last card in um, December, December 2nd, so looking to get back in there. <laughs> and how did that fight go for you? I'm sorry, I don't remember. I, it actually didn't go too well. Well, I mean, it was, I fought Carla Esparza. She's a two-time All-American wrestler. Uh, if you know anything about me, I'm a, I'm a kickboxer, Muay Thai, you know, striker. Um, but I knew that, I mean, she's ranked, she's, you know, she's, I, be, I believe she's in like the top five. I wanted to really like challenge myself, see where I stacked in the division. You know, I fight for, I fight at 115. Um, it was one of those fights going into it. I knew it was going to be like one of the toughest fights just because her strength is my weakness, you know, but I, I did everything I could to prepare for the fight. I didn't, you know, I didn't take her, her lightly and, um, you know, the fight didn't go my way, but I definitely came out, you know, learning, learning a lot from that fight. Well, certainly I have to ask you about women's MMA and all that. And, and do you feel that it's been tougher to find, you know, fights and to, to get bookings and to get the support in light of, you know, some of the statements Dana has said, how he's definitely not interested in it. And I feel like there might have been a little ripple effect against that, you know? Well, the thing is, Dana might not be interested, but there's plenty of other promotions who are interested. I mean, Bellator has, you know, they've, they've created a division for, you know, for the females. Even Strikeforce, which is, you know, still owned by Zufa, they have a division, you know, they have a 135, 145 pound division. Um, really, I don't believe it's, I think it's it's the women's job to do, to do what they need to do, to stay dedicated, to stay focused, to keep training, and, you know, the opportunities will come as long as the, the women out there stay true to the sport and, and stay dedicated. Yeah, and it's actually true. It is interesting that, that him saying he doesn't want it makes everybody else say, okay, now we have a chance to establish it and to make it really good. Well, and that's the thing because, you know, everybody's like, oh, they think of, you know, um, they think of MMA and they think UFC, UFC, UFC. But yeah, so now all these other organizations are like, well, we have something that the UFC doesn't. So we're going to we're gonna take these women, we believe in them, and we're going to create a division for them. And, and a lot of organizations out there are doing that and have been doing that. And, and I think it's great. So what do you make? Oh, Eric Apple in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, from the film, Warrior, Eric Apple. <laughs> oh, don't pretend you're bashful, Apple. <laughs> I love him. He is bashful. I trained with him at uh, CSW. He's, he's bashful. Really? The apple I know is Oh, yeah. The apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. I'm sure his dad's bashful, too. <laughs> he's not bashful around the Asian ladies. Have you ever seen him around the Asian ladies? I have not seen him around Asian ladies. Not I think bashful. He's, not, he's really not that bashful around the blonde ladies, either. <laughs> <laughs> Nor the dark haired, no. curly, but yeah, whatever. Any, any female. <laughs> Speaking of females, there's a big fight coming up between Ronda Rousey and Misha Tate. Ronda's going to try to take Misha's title. What do you make of the war of words between the two of them? Do you think it's a good thing for, for Ronda to be so vocal about her dislike in certain ways for Misha? Um, I actually, I, I'm, see, you know, everybody has their thing. Everybody, they do what they do. But the thing is, you know, Misha Tate is the champion. She's very established. You know, she's paid her dues in the sport of MMA. While Ronda Rousey may have paid her dues, you know, in the sport of, of judo, and she really hasn't paid her dues in the sport of MMA. So now, if she ends up losing that fight, she's just going to look really, really bad. You know, but, you know, everybody, to each his own. Everybody does their thing. Like, it's it's great fight hype. Um, I personally wouldn't do that, you know, for every fight, because you're, you're going to get a lot of haters. And not only just, like, you might not be a fan favorite, but you ha also have to look at sponsors, too. Because when it comes to MMA, I don't make a living off the fighting. I make a living off, off of sponsorships. You know, so if you're going to be, you know, bad for the sport and not really supporting, like, female MMA, I think that it's, you know, it's bad for you as a whole, for your, like, for your image, for your for your brand. Yeah. And obviously, with women, and, it, and it's such a tricky thing, but with, with women, female fighters, sex appeal comes into it. It's a choice you make, I guess, to use it to your advantage or not. But but some people are really against it. How do you stand on, on playing up the fact that you're a woman? You know, the thing is, you know, you have to use, like, whatever, you know, God's given gifts, talents, whatever. Um, you know, it's not, the, it's not our fault that, you know, we're not getting the opportunities that the men are getting in the UFC. Like, you have to use, like, whatever you, you can to your advantage. That's like saying, you know, like, somebody who came into a family of money, you know, like, oh, they can do all this and they can do all that because they're, you know, they have all this money to pay for this. Like, everybody's blessed with 
with different things in life and I just say use it you know embrace it don't you know don't be cocky about it don't use that as your main focus but realize that you know fighting like it's a business and we have to make money like I have to make a living and if I'm making a living you know because of my you know if, if your butt I, let's be honest yeah, if, because of my butt if my butt gets me more opportunities to keep paying you know for my training then fine <laughs> it's gonna get you a lot of opportunities <laughs> well Felice good luck to you thanks for talking and, and best of luck you know in your fight and, and just in the in your career in general okay thank you good talking to you, <laughs> you <too. laughs>